Good morning, good morning, good morning. <clears throat> so, excuse me. I'm trying to enjoy my Saturday. A little coffee with cocoa, with uh, coconut milk. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. So, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Justin Fletch. Back with another video. Um... So, on social media, like, you know, I I consume a lot of social media because um, I'm constantly watching YouTube videos because I'm, I'm, I do YouTube videos. So, you know, I, um, I try and see what they're doing, uh, be consumed by it so I can, you know, dish it out. But there's a lot of, in social media or, you know, wherever platform, this includes myself. This is my disclaimer myself. There's a lot of uh, people out there, so-called gurus and people that want to give you advice. People that want to give you advice about things in life and what they're doing, what you should not do, how you should do it. And... It's a good thing and it's a bad thing. It's a good thing because you you know you could be going through the same thing. They're going through the same thing. Millions and thousands of people are going through it at the same time. So you know you're not the only one going through it. And you and some people have went through it, and now they're 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 done with it. And so they want to like um, share their thoughts and how they overcame it, um, whatever that trial or tribulation was. Um, and it helps a lot of people. But at the same time, at the same time, it uh, it's a problem because just because you got something to say, you should not always say it. Um, I would say this: if you're following somebody, to include myself, if you're following somebody on social media, um, or you're listening to somebody about anything let's say if somebody giving you dating advice uh do this for your husband do this for your wife um don't do this don't date this person date this person watch out for these toxic traits you gotta ask yourself are they in a relationship hmm Are they engaged in a relationship that is serious enough to give you dating advice? If there's an 18 year old that are giving you dating advice, 21 year old, what can they tell a 30 year old about dating advice? <clears throat> At the same time, you're a 30 year old single, you've never been married, never been in a long term relationship, don't know how to, you know, relationship don't. What you doing giving dating advice? I'm, I'm, I'm not never gonna give dating advice. You know? <clears throat> financial advice, right? Somebody giving you financial advice. Look, I would say this if any advice, look at their actions, see what they're doing. If they're dating or whatever, look at how they're dating. If you know them in real life, you know. Are they married? Are they, do they have a serious relationship? Do they have children? Are they engaged with their children? Um, how they interact with their family? Financial advice. Do they have money in their bank account? What's their net worth? Um, do they, the stocks they're trying to tell you to own, or do they own those stocks? Some of the, and a lot of some of this stuff is like public, public information. So you can find out. Um, a lot of stuff you can't find out. You just kind of got to do your own research and kind of watch how they move. Um, but don't listen to everything, to include myself. Don't listen to everything you hear on social media because everybody's voice don't need to be heard. Watch their actions. I'm giving you I'm giving you fitness advice. Uh, you know, things you should do and shouldn't do. Watch my actions. I work out every day. 
I go to the gym every day. I say, be consistent. Go to the gym. Be consistent. Stay, con stay consistent. Consistently do it. Guess what? I'm consistently in the gym. Consistently. I, I used to give out a lot of like supplement advice or I was giving out some supplements. But I stopped. Why? Because I don't take the same supplements all the time. What they say, tell you take fish oil. I don't take fish oil. I'm gonna stop telling people to take fish oil. <clears throat> you can't be hypocritical in what you're saying and doing if you're not doing it. You know? So watch the action. Whatever you're doing and you're telling people to do it, just let it be genuine because people find the bullshit. People spot the bullshit right away. Um, unless they're young and naive, you know, uh, about what you're doing. They don't see it all, but you know, everybody's voice on social media, everybody's, what they're doing, what they're saying. It may be good advice, it may be bad advice, but I ask you to um, listen to understand um, and not to reply. Listen, hear what they're saying, but watch their actions. And don't rush to repeat their actions. Make your own decisions, you're your own person. All right, be your be yourself. There's only one you, only one you. The saying I heard that uh, it took God, if you believe in God, it took God seven days to make this great world. Seven days, and you look around, how things are made: trees, birds, fish in the sea, stuff we haven't even seen yet. The amazing um, creation of Earth, but it took God nine months to make you. Nine months, seven days, nine months. That's your value. He took more time to make you than this great world you live in. Nine months. And there's only one you. Before you, there was none of you. After you, there won't be another one of you. You are one of one. Be your own self. Don't copy somebody. Do your own thing. Now I'm not saying, <clears throat> that sometimes watching what other people do and then you know doing their thing sometimes it's a good thing because like it helps helps you out right helps you get on your feet um helps you realize who you should be <clears throat> so in, the, in that sense it does help so but don't don't try and be another jeff bezos elon musk you know because one, you'll get depressed um, because you're not there, but you're not supposed to be there. You're supposed to be in another way, another lane, doing your own thing. You have your own race. You were born alone, you're gonna die alone. Right, even if you're born a twin, every single time, you only come out once, one at a time. And you're gonna go a grave, one at a time. It's your boy, Justin Fletch. Yes, I eat junk food sometimes. Browning, some coffee. Saturday morning, you gotta live your life. So, you gotta live your life. It's your boy, Justin Fletch. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.